It's time to get into the kitchen for game day grub presented by Tico People's Gas. Angie Vaselli and Chef Tony, they have a London classic. Welcome to Game Day Grub, presented by Tico People's Gas. We're here in a Dreamfinders home model in Longfield Preserve, which is a natural gas community. And I'm here with Chef Tony from Publix, and we're cooking up some fish and chips. Yeah, first coast fish and chips, Angie. <laughs> Even you know, better. There is a, a tremendous fishing scene here in Jacksonville, whether it be on the river, up the little creeks, out in the ocean. My backyard. You're, what? You, yeah, live, you absolutely. live near one of those things? <laughs> yes. I'm like, well, I live near a creek, but you know, right to the river, crazy things happen there. You so. don't want to eat that. No, 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 not right now. <laughs> anyway, so, but I thought, man, first coast fish and chips, when we make these trips to London, we want to have something and that's a little piece of them, but really a piece of us. Today, we're going to cook flounder, which is one of the prevalent fishes that is found off our coast. Pompano is another one. We can do bass, a lot of different things, snapper. But uh, let's do this. We're going to start by making a, a beer batter. So in here, I have okay. all-purpose flour Easy. and rice flour. We don't want to go all all-purpose perfect because we want Lighten a it up. lighter thing. So you start whisking that for me. All right. I'm going to pour in one of our local beers as well. This is what really makes it Come one on, of us first as well, coast. right? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Just keep. Oh yeah, we're pouring it in. Oh, a little bit more. We're cooking. We're cooking Ooh, with uh -huh. beer. Yeah. Huh? All right, first coast. Now I'm going to put a little bit of that, that London flair right oh, in there. Put a little, a little bit of mess. malt vinegar in there too. Oh. All right. So Where do you find malt vinegar? In, uh, in, in the of store. Course, public. Right yes, there you go. Okay. Right there, it's on the vinegar aisle. It's up towards the top. So, All right. so we want to do make this to the thickness that we're looking for. There we go. And the, the uh, carbonation in the beer is going to help lighten this up as well because as the carbonation Yum. reacts with the, with the oil, it's going to be. Now, boom. is this sort of authentic? Is this like how somebody in London would do this? Yeah, is this sure. truly London, first Jacksonville, coast? Florida. But is this normal to add beer to? Yeah, you they would add Guinness or something along All those right. lines. So we would whisk this up till it got to the thickness that we wanted. We would take our, our fish. And I know you is, would do it without getting it clumpy. No, 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 I wouldn't. I'd do it just like you do it because okay. that's how it's done. All right. All right. We dip that in. All right. We would go back to our fire, which we have a pot over our flame and that natural gas flame, right? We want to hold that at the temperature. The response time on this when we drop stuff in helps the uh, the oil come back to temperature being over that natural gas, right? Awesome. If we're over something else, it's going to dip and then we have to wait for recovery time. But we're going to drop these in. We're going to drop some uh, some chips in as well, like some red uh, potatoes that are locally grown. And uh, we'll have our first coast fish and chips. For the fish and chips recipe and a look at all the game day grub segments, make sure you visit peoplesgas.com slash cooking.